This is a uh, Aussie Griffin here doing a quick response to uh, Richard O'Brien. Um, sure, I got the name right. The stand-up philosopher. First of all, mate, congrats on the back surgery going well. We've actually got somebody over here who <coughs> is having complications from around her aesthetic uh, blood clots of all things. So she's back in the hospital. We all wish her well, of course. You know, leadership. That's a tempting little word, isn't it? Well, we all want great leaders who come up with so good solutions and inventive problems and, you know, embrace the Einstein philosophy that the level of consciousness that creates a problem uh, must be superseded if you want to solve that problem, you know. It's a, it's, it's, great, um, it's a great vision. The truth is, the people who are leaders... So using inverted commas, I like that. Though you see today, people like uh, Mitt Romney or, uh, I don't know, Barack Obama. Let's just make sure all the Americans know that this is not a left or right wing rant. That's all an illusion anyway. All of these so-called leaders we have are people who are actually followers. Oh, you say, well, they talked about leadership and they stood in front of a camera and gave a nice speech. Yeah, you can get a follower to do that. A real leader is really just a self-managed individual. <clears throat> and the people who are in partisan politics, Democrats, Republicans, Labour, Liberal, in Australia the Liberals are actually the Conservatives. I'm not making that up. You should see the motto for the Australian Democrat Party. Now, I can't even repeat it on camera because uh, that goes against the um, rules of my channel on swearing. So, I don't think we have many leaders and I don't think that any real leaders are allowed to progress in the system we've got. Because the people that are really leading the followers that we call leaders have absolutely no intention of letting any of us live our own lives in the way that we see fit. Now, I'm not going to pretend that I haven't had my political leanings, I have. I'm not going to pretend that I haven't spoken out on some issues, uh, especially above others, I have. I am going to say here, though, that I'm really confident, I am supremely confident, that most people are capable of leading themselves and managing their own affairs, and really, the only time we ever should really feel uncertain is when we're tackling the unknown, and really, once you have some solid form of logic in place, like the trivia methodology, or basically just a solid head on your shoulders. You can really figure out what you're dealing with, what kind of uh, insurances you should really take, and that's pretty much it. You know, I know I hang out with a lot of anarchists here on YouTube, and they have some good points and some bad. However, really, I've always said that the Republicans got one thing right in their rhetoric, not in their practice. Limited government in all areas, including national defense. Yes, you'll probably need a an intelligence service of some kind. Yes, you'll probably need to have uh, some sort of national physical defense. <clears throat> Does it have to constantly be getting in everyone's face? No. Does government have to constantly be uh, digging into everyone's backs? Not really. Do we really need leaders to tell us how to get up in the morning, what to wear, uh, how to run our schools or our churches, or I'm not a huge church fan, or anything else? Not really. We've been doing that pretty well despite the interference of uh, government bodies and leaders who are really followers. The truth is, and I think Keynes said it best, uh, and that's The Economist, most people uh, don't understand the philosophies they're given, and the people that give it out probably don't understand it either, and nobody's really sure where it came from. <laughs> the irony, of course, 
is that Keynesian philosophy is deeply flawed as far as the economics goes, and that was pretty much all he le uh, lectured on. So if you're looking for people who are self-aware and self-confident and very, very decisive, the last place to look for is uh, those people is Congress uh, or the Senate in a democratic country. <clears throat> no, the truth is, if you want to look for those individuals, I recommend you start with a mirror. Anyway, I'm Ozzy Griffin. Congrats again on your back. Have a good night.